Hi, I'm Deborah Lee Baldwin. This is my home and garden. And I'm so happy that I have Robin Foreman with me today. She is a special event designer for very high-end clients, and she's going to be showing us how to make a wedding bouquet. Absolutely, Deborah. Welcome, Robin. Thanks. Thanks for having me. So this is what we're going to be doing today, your standard bridal bouquet. Your, your flowers are going to come with a stem already, uh -huh. and your succulents, even though they have that gorgeous rosette, they're, you're going to have to add a stem. I but we're going to walk you through okay. real slow All right. to get a feel for how it's Great. done. Let's see. Um, so first off, it's a little bridal holder. And I've uh, got one here, okay. and it's got the foam. This is, holds oh, water. Oh, yes. Okay, so that's the foam that florists use. Right, so I'm going to soak it in some water. has a little handle there for the bride to hold. Absolutely. And then you can compose your entire bouquet with the holes that are in, in the plastic. Right, because the succulents are gonna, aren't going to need it, but the flowers, of exactly. course, Exactly, okay. So, and that just takes a couple seconds. Um, yeah, look, it turned dark. To get and, wet. Okay. So now it's soaked. And then uh -huh. this is just a little lace collar that gives you a nice finished looking sure. back. And I'm just going to snap that right on. Oh, pretty. So that you have <laughs> a little. And I've got. And a holder. And a holder. Well, now, if people didn't have all of this, what would be the old fashioned way that grandmothers used to do it? Well, you just have to make sure you have something that the, the handle can go in, can rest in, so that uh -huh. you can work on it. Um, and it could be maybe something smaller. Like even a bucket. Yeah, uh -huh. like a bucket. Or so you might want uh -huh. something a little bit higher. All right. The first thing I'm going to do is I give a foundation of greenery to give uh -huh. me my, my overall shape. Now, could people actually use lemon leaves from the trees in their garden? Absolutely. They can go. I mean, oh, I have neat. a term for it, I called it roadsidea. <laughs> oh, <thank laughs> anything you can find in your garden. <laughs> Hopefully not too much from the neighbors. Yeah. So I'm going to do maybe some of my um, background roses okay. at this stage, what we call line flowers. Your, your oasis is a, an inch to two inches wide. Uh -huh. You want it to hold the stem. Okay. Do you ever work with garden roses? Are they? Absolutely. Oh, you do? Because they're stunning. Okay. So now... What I want to go after is the, the focal, kind of the center of the oh, bouquet. Okay, and you have picked up a succulent. And I picked up this, and I love that, that it echeveria. had that hot pink mm -hmm. edging It picks on up it. the raspberry. So okay. now that I have um, my roots, and I have a strong 20 gauge wire. Oh, okay. This is floral wire, and I'm just going to poke that right. Oh, you're, you're going through it. Through it. Oh, instead of up through the center. Yeah, not up through the center because oh. you want to hold it. And then I'm going to bend it right down. So now um, th these are floral wood picks. If, okay. If you don't have these around and there's something else, like <laughs> if you eat a lot of Chinese takeout, you mm -hmm. can use something like Chopsticks this. Chopsticks are so handy. And then I'm just going to put that under here. Well, wait a minute. The sharp end of the pick does not well, go I up through the... Well, I want my sharp end. Oh, to go into the arrangement. Yeah, so, and it's not going to matter at this point. Like, uh -huh. I don't have to break that. Oh, okay. So I'm just going to get it nearby. And uh -huh. I can, if I want a little bit more stability, I can twist it. But what's going to okay. hold it all in is floral <laughs> tape. So floral tape is not sticky. It's okay. more of a paper tape. Uh -huh. And how it's activated is as you pull it, then it sticks to itself. Okay, so you're, you're starting the wrap right at the top. Right, because I want all my mechanics covered. That is okay. a sign of a well-made bouquet. You don't see any of the mechanics. Okay. Cover your mechanics. And now oh you have my a gosh! Stem. That is so cool! The succulent has a stem. I could, I could almost do that. <laughs> you can do it! You can uh -oh. do it! This is why we're doing this. All right. So then just snap. And I do like to give it at an angle. Yeah, because so that'll poke give in. a point. And All then right. I'm going to make a nice little focal. These are going to okay. be the focals. All right. So I'm just going to do a little cluster of three. And I see you've done your prep work. You've got a <laughs> lot of wrapped succulents. So then I'm going to start filling in. Oh, you good. can get your fingertips on it. You can put a wire on it. The beauty is the fact that you have something afterwards that's going to continue to grow. And it is yeah. the sweetest process. Oh. Um, even in all this tape and all this wire, these little tiny roots will just spray out. You oh. get these little pink roots. How cool is that? And you just have to unravel it or trim it and set it on top of soil. You know, I'm thinking of them as flowers now because they have floral yeah. shapes and they're being used <laughs> in a bouquet. You're converting. <laughs> 
pretty. And now, I do you, I need... do you hold it in front of a mirror when you're done, or I do. Do you that, hold it like you're a bride? And that is see the greatest designer trick. Can I be the bride? Can I hold it? <laughs> okay, somebody, somebody hum the the wedding march.